morning, everyone, and welcome back. It's Linda from Linda's Closet. And uh, <coughs> it's Tuesday morning, excuse me, I've got that cold cough again. Oh boy. Um, welcome back, it's Tuesday, and I'm making a video for you. And uh, it is December, and it's Christmas time, or at least Thanksgiving is over. And so here's what happened. I went on uh, the YouTube and the website Runway, the app, Runway. It's a little square box. It says R, Runway, and it's free, and you put it on your uh, iPad or your phone, and you can scroll through all the latest uh, Runway fashion shows, and you'll get the latest trends. So I was scrolling through it, and Chanel had a new one, very beautiful, of course, and they had a look that I have not done before. I haven't seen it before, but I have certainly not done it before. So here's what it was. And it'll be up on my website too. But it was, um, I believe it was a jumpsuit. I'm not doing a jumpsuit, but it was a sequin jumpsuit with a bomber jacket, a shearling bomber jacket. So I thought, oh my God, what a great combination. I've never done that before. I've never worn it. I've never even thought of it. I think it's great. Now they did this yellowy camel color, which I don't wear. And it was this gray sequin. So forget that. It doesn't matter. What I did is I went in my closet and I said, okay, I know I have all those kinds of things. So I grabbed my jacket. Okay, the first thing I did is I did grab the Shirley jacket. Um, okay, so I grabbed that. Then I went over to my sequin pants. And what I noticed was, and I have a few, what I noticed was I wanted the ones with the jogger bottom. I had these... I had the velvet bottom put on so that I'm gonna like a ribbing around the ankle to hold it so it's a jogger. It just makes it easier for me to wear. So I went, I pulled out the jogger and in the picture she had a lot of jewelry. Chanel always does a lot of jewelry. Now I usually do long, but I had this short piece that I got uh, like in New York at this great little jewelry store. I think it's called Cabajon on Lexington. And I thought, I'm going to put it with that. So, of course, again, my t-shirt underneath, the necklace. Uh, I added this little um, new necklace I've had forever just to kind of cover up the skin part. Then I went and I grabbed, went through my black shirts. Many of them are very lightweight. They didn't feel heavy enough. So I got this in satin. It's got a bow tie, which I'm just tying underneath. Just tying it underneath because um, it seemed a little heavier. Okay, um, now, I laid out my clothes, I took all the pictures and everything, but I had put a white uh, Givenchy tennis shoe with it. I hadn't tried it on, and when I went to put it on this morning, it looked terrible. So, okay, no problem. Ran over to my shoe closet, and I realized I've got to have black shoes with it. It just, it just I thought something white would, you know, punch it up, but it didn't. It really made it look bad. So. I went and I grabbed three pairs of booties, and the first one I tried on was the one I used. Now I got these at Nordstrom's, they were inexpensive. They've got a little B on them, so they're trying to copy Gucci. They've got a patent, and they're by, who are they by? I don't know. They're called His, Hispanitas. Um, joy is a choice, Hispanitas, anyway. They're very soft and comfortable. They're patent. The pat, you know what it is? The patent goes with the sequence because the patent is shiny. Um, okay, too hard to get on. Okay, so the patent goes with the shiny. I, like I said before, I tend to be matchy-matchy. I tend to be one color palette. I tend to be that uh, challenge on Project Runway. I'm a head to toe Okay, so... Very simple, you know, and let me tell you something. This is a look that is a uniform. You could put this aside in your closet and you can grab it to go to dinner, to a concert, um, to a birthday party, uh, maybe a luncheon during the day. Um, okay, so I'm going to, you know, I have a million bags. I'm gonna go with just something, I don't know, light and small, like it seems to, I feel like I needed another big piece. 
So I just grabbed this bag. Now, I might get in trouble for this, but okay, here's the scoop on the bag. So it used to be, back in the day, when you went to New York City, you could walk along the sidewalk, like let's say Fifth Avenue or Madison, Lexington, and these guys would unfold these trash bags. There would be all this fantastic fake bags. Um, I don't have a problem with fake bags. I'm sorry. I, I don't have a problem with them because everybody wants fashion. And it's free advertising to the big dogs. And nobody, you know, there are people, look, I'm going to buy both. You're not losing my business because I saw this on the street. Trust me. Please do not worry. Not issue. People that are only want the real one, they're never going to buy the fake one. I mean, it's such a non-controversy. So, you know, thank you, Mayor de Blasio. Uh, it, so it's fantastic. So then, okay, so they made them get off. So then you could get them. Then they made them get off the street. I think it was Bloomberg that made them get off the street. And it was this whole sting operation, you know, big scandal. Uh, you know, women buying purses, big scandal. So um, then you then they have really bad fakes on the street. You get a really, really bad fake. So you'd have to go and you'd have to, you know, find people and they take you to, you know, these buildings and whatever. Okay. Um, I did that in China too. Oh God, I'm gonna, I swear to God, the FBI is going to show up at my door. Anyway, so now they have a new mayor and um, handcuffs have come off and they're back on the street with the good bags. And I mean, they are good. And this is one. I mean, like I said, I have friends that wouldn't be caught dead buying a fake one. So it's no problema, okay? Everybody just calm down. Um, anyway, so this is, I got this on the streets in New York. I love it. I'm not apologizing for it. I love it. I make, you know, clink, clink, but I am not apologizing for my bag. Okay, so that's our look today. I'm going to grab, you know, I've been wearing these. I got these because Lisa ran on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills had them. And I probably look ridiculous like an alien, but I don't care. I'm going to wear them because she has them. And that's our look for today. And uh, it's festive. You know what? It's Christmas time. It's getting close to Christmas time. It's festive. Okay. So that's uh, that's our look today from Linda's Closet. And um, I, know there's in, I know there's information on the Instagram. And there'll be, uh, we've got a website coming up. And so all this stuff will be available to you so that you'll have it in your files and we can go back and reference. Okay. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.